All right, what up, everybody? It's been a while since I did a knife video. Haven't bought anything new lately, so I did, however, order this backspacer I just got from my Spyderco Titanium Military. I ordered it about two months ago. Just got it in the mail literally today. Installed it. Took me about 45 minutes to install it. It shouldn't take that long, but for some reason, with these militaries, when I've taken, and I've owned like three of these things, when I take them apart, clean them, which honestly you really don't have to do according to manufacturers and all that stuff but for these ones in particular it's a pain in the ass and i don't know why i think the titanium the way the spider co might be machining it is just more fucked up than the next guy it just doesn't sit completely flush with the blade and everything so you really have to work by adjusting all these screws at the same time you're doing the pivot it's not like a, a normal knife, you know, a Medford or somebody that's much more high quality. You take it apart, slap it back together. You tighten the pivot down a little bit and then tighten all the screws and then tighten your pivot up to where it needs to be. I never had an issue with any other knife but this one. So I, I don't know what the process is. Honestly, don't care. I'm just explaining to you guys that it took me a little bit longer than it should to put this backspacer in. This is the pre-2017 model. The difference between them being the lanyard hole right here. So 2017 and up, you got a bigger lanyard hole. I think it's near the size of the paramilitary two, but not 100% on that. I never owned the titanium one after 2017. Mine were always pre-2017. So why that's important? Because if you order this backspacer, I'm gonna show you, it was only designed for pre-2017, which would be the smaller lanyard hole. So if you've got one of the after 2017 or 2017 and up, then this backspacer will not work for you. I don't know if you can call the company to see if they can make a change, but I don't know. For some reason, like I said, I don't know if they machined this fucking thing and this is the only knife that they have that they were able to machine it to. But it is what it is. I ended up luckily having this model, so I was able to buy it for this model. This is the original backspace that it was in it. So a piece of aluminum. It's a nice short piece of shit that's thrown into the knife. This is the one that I just put on. So as you can see, it's a complete backspacer. It goes all the way around to the backside here. It does not add very much weight. I don't have a scale here to show you that, but by feel, it doesn't add much weight at all. But then you're taking it again from a guy that likes big knives anyway. So for you, it might be just too much. The jimping sticks up just slightly outside of the handle, which is great. Flips, flips perfect, just like spider goes you normally do. But if you hold the knife all the way back here and you're holding it in a swinging position, that jimping yeah. sticks up just high enough to where your hand actually feels it. And you don't really have to worry about it slipping out of your hand as much as you would having that backspacer in there. If you hold it up higher here, you get a much better grip on it. I can actually feel that jimping digging into my hand all through the midsection here. I mean, it just feels really good. Uh, to hold it in this position, you can feel the jimping once again here as you feel the jimping here. So much better ergonomically, I think. Um, also, if you were to use this in a reverse grip situation, your grip is much tighter here because of that jimping that digs into your skin once again. And it goes all the way around to the top, so if you, or the back of the knife. So if you actually have to use it in a stabbing situation, then that is great because the jimping sticks up high enough to dig into your thumb, so there is absolutely no way that your hand can slip off of this knife now. As soon as I saw that, I just thought this was a design that Spyderco should have came up with on their own a long time ago. Even if they did stick with the aluminum thing, you know, make make it like this. That's how a knife should look. Are we wanting to save weight? Do we want to make it ease of cleaning? It's still easy to clean. There's nothing bad about this spacer at all, right? Even though it was a flow-through design before, so what? You got to take a Q-tip or something to blow it out. Take a Q-tip or something to blow it out through the backspace right here. It, it didn't add... You know, a, a horrible freaking gateway to disaster. I think it's actually better. But anyway, just wanted to show that off to you guys and let you know how I feel about taking a Spyderco 
military apart just to do something like this and is a little time consuming. Very nice knife, everybody. I'm much more happy with it at this point. I bought this a few months back and saw that backspacer. I looked up and wanted it, got it today, put it in, and I'm liking the knife much more now. So now it's time to carry it. All right, everybody. Peace out.